So this would be the place where I just put in my intro and then say hello and welcome to another commentary and introduce you all to what the video is. But I'm not going to do that with this video. Why? Because it's on Josh Wait 428 and I think it speaks for itself. Now I've been away from Josh Wait 428 for a while, not because I've wanted to ignore him, not because I wanted to move on. It was more the fact that he hasn't done anything stupid enough that deserves a commentary. Until now. I have to say to that. But you just know that deep down his real reaction was, Dibs on his iPod! <laughs> Joshua, there are many questions I could be asking you, but the one I've decided to stick with is why. Why did you upload this video? Because I thought it was funny. Yes, but your version of funny is a dumbass's version of 2 plus 2 equals 22. Why did you think this was funny? Because there were some people that actually liked this Ninian cat clip and I thought... I would give him some humor. There are people out there that like the Bugatti Veyron, but if you put a chicken in it to try and make it funny, it fails miserably. Just like all of your bloody videos. Why did you think those two clips went together in a way that was funny in any sense of the word? And finally, and most importantly, why are you still here? Because there are still people out there that do admire my videos. Aside from me, cause a few people actually do admire my videos. Even some people are still cheering me on to never give up, including me. Yes, there are people out there that are still cheering you on and telling you to keep doing commentaries, including yourself. Those people are fucking morons. Seriously, Joshua, I wasn't involved in the drama with you and Ariana a while back, but even if I'm not counting that against you, I really don't think you're mature or responsible enough to be on YouTube. I think it's best that you come back in a couple of years, when you're ready to deal with being a YouTube user, or just don't come back at all. Because at this point, I'm wondering whether you'll ever be mature enough to stay here. That's your opinion. And by the sound of it, it sounds like you're stating your opinion as a fact. Okay, firstly, opinion card, third gen faggot much? Secondly, how is he stating his opinion as a fact? He is trying to help you and say that you should get off the internet and mature before you come back. But all you're doing is shoving your head up your damn ass. Oh yeah, because I clearly don't have a life. That's the most sense you've made all day. I have to give you credit there. Oh yes, because you're the one who decides my destiny. It is my destiny to stay on YouTube become a YouTube commentator. It is my destiny to be the best commentator alive. Destiny, destiny, destiny. Okay, how'd you like if I decided that your destiny was to jump off a cliff? How is he deciding about your quote-unquote destiny? He is trying to help you by saying you should get off the internet, mature a bit, and then come back. But you have your head so far up your ass, I think you can see your own lunch. Would you do that? Or would you decide your own destiny? Here's a question. What destiny are you going to achieve from making YouTube commentaries? I make them for fun and entertainment, not for some sort of imaginary destiny. So what destiny are you going to achieve from making YouTube commentaries? To become the greatest commentator of all time? Well, good fucking luck with that. I'm going to end the video here, and this is my conclusion. Joshua, if you want to act like a spoiled little bitch, you should be treated like a spoiled little bitch. Because you are a third-gen egotistical cunt. Bye!